Hi, I'm Sonny. I'd like to welcome you to another Sonny's Piano TV show. Today, I want to talk about the healing benefits of piano playing and how it makes you feel healthy and happy. And um, just like what I was just doing there, very simple piece, very melodic, very mellow. I mean, by playing that, uh, rather than emphasizing playing it perfectly, I was just like really sinking into the feeling of the music, you know, just like a nice... That's what I want to talk about a little bit today, is how the piano can make you feel healthy, happy, and improve your sense of well-being. In fact, my whole approach to learning how to play the piano is to emphasize the, the, the piano as a vehicle for uh, making you feel healthy, making you feel happy, a, a vehicle for promoting self-growth. And if you take a very relaxed approach to playing the piano and not be judgmental, and not always try to be perfect. See, I think this is what stands in the way of a lot of people really even starting to play the piano and really pursuing and enjoying it, is that we're always measuring ourselves up against someone else. Well, I really don't play that good. I can't tell you how many times I hear, I, I don't really play. Well, do you play? You play. You, know, you don't play according to who? Uh, according to, uh, you know, you're trying to measure yourself up against uh, a great a classical pianist, a jazz pianist, a rock pianist. See, in my mind, piano playing is not competitive. Okay? It's something that we all can do, and we can all derive health and wellness benefits from playing. For instance, You've heard of ultrasound, where if you have an injury, you go to a doctor or you go to physical therapy, and they do this ultrasound treatment where they put sound into the muscle tissue, and it helps relax it, increases circulation, promotes healing. Well, what is a piano? What are you doing when you're playing the piano? If that sound is coming in through your fingers, into your arms, this is a form of ultrasound, okay? It just helps to relax your whole body. Anything you do while you're sitting here is going to improve your sense of well-being. It's kind of like an ultrasound treatment. Also, there are test studies that have been uh, done that show that uh, by playing the piano for about 10, 20 minutes, you start to release dopamine and beta endorphins in the brain which gives you a sense of well-being and a sense of happiness and harmony. So there's so many benefits you can derive from the piano. Also, moods, feelings, expressing your feelings. Let's say you're feeling blue. Well, you get down on the piano and you can play some minor chords. You can express some of that blueness. Let's say you're feeling happy. Well, you sit down on the piano, you can express it and, and, and really enhance that happy feeling you got. Nothing like a C major chord to uh, brighten the day. And uh, also, uh, piano playing can help release a lot of tension. Let's say you're, you're feeling tight, okay, in muscles, and you need to really express some of that. Or you're feeling uh, angry. Uh, you could just sit down and just start jamming out on a uh, chord pattern, a simple three chord pattern, like. yourself, get some of that out. All right, so the piano playing, you know, the goal of piano playing, what is the goal of piano playing? You might ask that question. Is it to play perfectly? I don't think so. Is it to be the best in the world? I don't think so. The goal of piano playing uh, is to feel good, in my, in my humble opinion, is to help you to uh, feel happy, you know, to express yourself. 
You know, music is just such a soothing tonic. It's so healing. And when the piano playing is one of the easiest instruments to play. You don't need to know how to read. You just sit down, you hit a note, and away you go. Other well, studies have shown that piano playing helps to uh, improve uh, uh, mental capabilities. Okay? It helps to help you to be, feel more organized. It, uh, some studies have shown that children that play the piano and study the piano, their, ability, their mathematical abilities improve. So from a health and wellness perspective, the piano playing is one of the healthiest, best things you could possibly do. You know? And the idea, once again, the goal is not to be perfect. I mean, this whole thing in society about being perfect, always being perfect, always trying to be the best. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, maybe some people were born to climb Mount Everest. Some people were born to break the world record. But how many? And uh, if that's your destiny, well, you're going to have that coin to do that. But meanwhile, playing the piano is something that everybody can do. It's kind of like uh, fitness. Uh, but when I first got into the fitness uh, uh, business, actually, uh, uh, you know, the, if, if you weren't uh, athletically inclined, you know, you didn't run, you didn't play any sports. It was mostly sports or fitness were for people who had athletic ability, suppose, supposedly, by, by, by who's, again, who's, who's uh, scale. And then as time went on, we saw that fitness is for everyone, and everyone needs fitness, and everyone needs to be physically active, okay, for health and well-being. And, and to reduce tension and stress, both in your physical being and in your mental being. And now what's happening is, uh, so now we, we discovered that as far as uh, fitness is concerned, that you should have a minimum amount of fitness activity, aerobic activity, and burn off tension and, and keep your heart strong. So we discovered that, and now what's happening is the same thing is happening with creativity, okay? P uh, people need to express their creativity. And they need to express themselves, express their feelings in some sort of creative fashion, uh, whether it be art or dancing or any kind of musical instrument. Uh, but piano, again, is one of the most accessible and uh, easiest instruments to play. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, instrument that creates all sorts of sounds. You know, you have um, you do all sorts of things on a piano. So th that's what makes this approach a little different than others. So the idea is not here is not to you know, have to again play perfectly, master all the scales, learn all the, all the different uh, modalities, and, and you know just be able to play fast and this and that. And the, I, I really feel that the piano playing is for everyone is what I always say, and the reason I say that is because everyone could do it, and there are health benefits to be derived from piano playing. You know, so that's what today's show is about. I'm going to uh, have some video tours of a couple of the pianos that we have for sale. And uh, I'm going to show you after the video tour what I was doing and explain it to you so you could do it. And also I'm going to have some other tips on uh, some basic uh, things that you could do on the piano if you've never played before. And even if you are, are playing, you know, the kind of approach that will enhance your flow and your feeling of well-being. Okay, so that's what we're going to talk about today. That's today's show. Uh, is going to be about uh, piano playing and, uh, and how it's uh, a very healing and helpful and healthy and therapeutic thing uh, for all of us to do. Okay, so whether you're starting out on the piano or you've been playing and you're just looking to get further into your piano playing and enjoy it more, then let, me, let me just show you a couple of quick things you can do. If you hold down the pedal, okay, I call these splashes. Take these two fingers, start over here, just going up, two fingers, come down, use the thumb. Now hold the pedal. Then use the back, back of your whole hand, use the palm of your hand, use both hands. And 
And how would you use that in a song? perfect okay here's another thing you do arpeggio is always a nice thing to do arpeggio is uh, okay let's say you had a C chord so you play C E G one two three okay one two three then play another one two three here another one two three 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 so it's C E G C E G C E G C E G C E G C E G okay so how could you use that? Okay, once again. Splash. Have fun playing if you have. You will know, play the notes perfectly. Okay. Now here's a couple other things you can do to loosen up and get yourself into the flow while you're playing. I always feel that uh, people just hang out with a chord pattern without worrying about uh, playing a song, then that helps them get into the flow more. Especially if you just relax and just not think and let your hands just get into it. For instance, um, you could play a very simple chord pattern. C chord, C major chord, C, E, G, both hands. Then D minor chord, D, F, A, and then E, G, B, E minor. So basically, you can use these three fingers, or you can use these three fingers. And all you're doing is you're moving up. You've got these three, these three, these three. So you're going. And do that with both hands. Just hang out and just see how many different ways you could play it. Get nice and relaxed into it. Get into the flow. Breathe deep. Don't think. Don't try to do it perfectly. Just kind of do something like this. each. One, two, three, one, two, three. And if you want to do uh, an octave with the left hand, octave is means eight, so it's C to C, and you can play this C chord here. So you could just do something like this. Just like that. Okay. Another thing you can do is just play the same chord all the way up. Something like this. Play the C chord, C, E, G. C, E, G. Thing with the left hand, both hands, you do rolls, tension, stress, relax, breathe deep. And that's the other thing. When you're sitting down at the piano, just nice and loose, nice and easy. Just get into the flow. Try to be aware of your shoulders. If you're holding your shoulders tight, that's no good. Keep your shoulders down and take slow, deep breaths. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And the piano can be also a form of meditation. When you're, uh, if you can just try just Playing two chords, close your eyes. Feel the music coming into your fingers. Just relax. No thinking.
airplane gets your mind off everything. Because come into the present moment, and you forget the past, you forget the future, you forget what you're worrying about, and you can just have a moment in the present moment. Clear your head, relax, feel good. Let's talk about what I was doing there. That's a famous song, Amazing Grace, three chords, C, F, and G. Okay. So basically, if you can pick out the melody, and, and everything in C is basically playing the white notes, right? So let's just find, if you play G, G to C, So you pick out the melody with the right hand, and basically, let's just do C chord, F chord, C chord, C chord, G chord, arpeggio. And as long as we're talking about the C F G chord, okay, that's called the one four five chord pattern. This chord pattern is probably the most frequently used chord pattern in music. Okay, there are more songs based around this, and it can be actually reduced to to uh, you know, using these songs than, you know, I don't know, maybe any other. You know, many of your uh, spiritual songs are, uh, are based on that, like that one. Many of your Christmas songs are based on one, four, five, like Jingle Bells. Here's C chord, F chord, C chord, G chord. C chord. Of course, when you start embellishing it, Joy to the world, C chord, F chord, C chord. Many, many of your patriotic songs are written using essentially the one, four, five chord pattern. Uh, C chord, C chord, F chord. Out of your nursery rhymes, C F J. Mary had a little lamb. C chord, G chord, C chord, C chord. Actually, it was just C and G. Hal Leonard uh, has a uh, book out called, I think, 100 Songs Using the C F G. You know, so many different uh, songs in there. It's actually, uh, we have just added this link to our website. 
uh, Music Direct. You can get to the Hal Leonard uh, sheetmusic.com through them, and their Easy Play Method books, or any of their books for, for that matter, are on there. And um, you get the basic sheet music on this, but man, let's go rock and roll. CFJ chords. Shake it up, baby. Shake it up, baby. Twist and shout. It's, it just goes on and on and on. Uh, basic, uh, some blues songs. CFJ. Here's a basic uh, 12 bar blues. You can do it in C using just CFJ. Here's one. C chord. CFG chord pattern is something that can give you hours and hours of fun, years of fun, and just you never run out of songs. My suggestion is to just hang out with the CFG chord and you'll see things will start just popping out. Different songs, different melodies, you know. Play it C, F, G, F chord, C chord. See what I mean? Wild Thing. I just was hanging out there, all of a sudden this thing came out. This song was a hit for a while, uh, Wild Thing. Four or five chord pattern. You can play that in different keys. You know, just play it in CFG. But that's a good place to start. All right, we got another piano video tour for you. Uh, this time we have a George Steck art case piano, the very decorative case, decorative uh, legs. And on this particular uh, video tour, I'm going to play a four chord pattern. I'm going to play the C, A minor, F, and G chord pattern. That's another chord pattern where you know, there's just hundreds of songs that incorporated or based on it, but let's go right to the video tour. Here's the uh, George Steck Art Case Piano Video Tour for you. <laughs>
that's a sweet sounding piano, very pretty. George Steck made great pianos. And this one is no exception, beautiful, nice tone, ivory keys. Uh, if you want to get more information on that, just go into the Pianos for Sale gallery right here. You can see the video tour again and you can get further details on the pricing and all that. Okay, so what I'm trying to show you here is that playing the piano is very easy. Yeah, you can just sit down and start doing chord patterns. You can sit down and just start exploring it on your own. It's very intuitive. If you could get around on a computer keyboard, this is easy in comparison. Okay? And, and most people learn to use the computer intuitively. Well, the piano is nowhere near as complex as a computer. And all the concepts of that you have to do with be online and internet and this, that. This is something that everyone can play. Everyone can do. And again, it's just a matter of sitting down. Uh, I always say, uh, you know, use the damper pedal because if you just play one note, you get that. You press the damper pedal down, it sustains, you get and just one note. It's pleasurable. This is very pleasurable to your ear. approach is not for everyone. Uh, uh, some people want to just, you know, learn the traditional way, and I encourage you to, to play the piano any which way that works for you. What I'm but what I, I, I'm trying to say is that there isn't just one way that works for everybody, and there isn't just one correct way to play the piano. And you can play the piano any way you want. It's your piano playing, okay? It's your expression, the expression of your feelings, and uh, it's your and designed to help us. Okay? And again, the idea is not to be obsessive and try to be perfect. The thing is to enjoy yourself, have fun, be happy, be healthy. All right? Okay, so we're going to end today's show with me playing a, a little piece. And again, these are pieces that are based on some very simple chord patterns. And just want to demonstrate to you what you can do once you just hang out with some chord patterns, learn. I would suggest memorize a couple of simple songs and then just let the embellishment and your creativity come through. But memorize the song so you can relax into it and just see what happens. Because if you just sit here and you just play, relax, breathe, don't think, don't analyze, don't judge, you are, the musician from within will come flying out of you. You have so much music inside of you. We all have this tremendous amount of music. And if you just stop, relax, breathe, stop thinking, just hang out on the piano, that music's going to come flowing out of you. I guarantee it. Okay, so thanks again for coming to the Sunny's Piano TV show. And again, we're going to end this with me playing some uh, stuff for you. See you next time.